Hi there! I'm Fox Espresso and I have been to far too many conventions. About 50 by the end of this year. Where on earth is my life gone? Anyways, I figured I'd share some of the, uh, um, a little bit of a review of all the conventions I've done. Now, keep in mind this list is very subjective. These are my own personal opinions based on my own experiences. You may have your own different impression. Don't take my video as a guide of which ones to go to, just for the grain of salt. These are subjective, not objective. But anyways, let's review these furry cons in order of how they appear in the calendar year. Let's go. First off, is Further Confusion. Based in San Jose, California, this convention holds a special place in my heart as it's the first furry con I've ever went to and also the first and longest that I've volunteered for. Given that it always takes place on MLK weekend, FC is my favorite way to kick off the year. The convention center housed between two hotels gives an open feel that makes the con feel relaxed, even with a famous party floor. Next up is Anthro New England. Located in Boston, this convention is okay. While it's moving to a Westin in 2023, when I went to a few years back, I found a hotel to be a charming at an awesome location for fur seating. The hotel, though, left a lot to be desired, with small rooms and just feeling a little bit too formal for a furry con. In fact, I remember many noise complaints coming from the hotel about the events themselves, or even just furries just talking outside. I gotta admit, though, if there's no snow on the ground, Boston is actually pretty neat in the winter. It's fiesta time! What kind of fiesta? Well, a Texas furry fiesta, of course. This is one of my favorite conventions to go to and was the first long distance con I ever went to back in 2016. I can't speak on its current venue, but when I last went, the Hyatt didn't have much in the way of food options outside of the hotel itself and was rather removed from everything despite being in downtown. But you have an awesome atrium and a pretty neat tower to go with that. I've met a few good friends at TFF and I've had a good time every time I've gone. Overall, good staff, good people, it's a nice vibe, I'd go again. Furthermore, at the time it was located just outside of Washington DC and um, oh boy. This is a weird one as I didn't know what was going to be coming immediately after going. I mean, for the context, the only time I ever went was March 5th through March 8th of 2020. You can pretty much guess what happened next. Impending world changing events aside, it was a small convention that was easy to bump into friends with. I love being close to cheap food and not too far from DC so I could easily do a choice day trip over. For what I thought was going to be a last of all at the time, I honestly I couldn't complain. However, I never expected to eat as much McDonald's as I had then. Motor City Fur Con. Located in Ann Arbor, Michigan, I honestly never expected to go here, but I was persuaded by a wolf just a month prior. I'm so glad I took him up on that offer as the country club venue was pretty neat and it felt less like a con and more like a mini vacation. The small size, like furthermore, made it easy to meet up with friends. Also, if you sponsor, the lounge has craft beers on top and you really can't beat that. Now we have one of the majors, Furry Week in Atlanta. To put it lightly, it is big. Not just in size, but by the venue itself. One look and oh my god, look at that tall tower. It's definitely not a convention for anyone with a fear of heights. What I love is that despite the size, it is pretty easy to hang out and chill with friends. The party atmosphere is strong and also at the highest floors. How on earth does that not end well? Also, be ready to wear your badge all weekend. Literally. You won't be able to take it off. Good old biggest little fur con. I remember the first two years when the entire con took place in one room. Word of mouth was so good that it didn't say little for so long. A lot of that positive feedback wasn't unfounded either. I'll probably make a whole video about this later, but it's a combination of being in a resort hotel and just being very well run. To say I look forward to this con every year is an understatement. How do I describe Con Fizzled? Beer. So much beer. I'm not sure if they changed venues 2018, 
But when I went back in that year, the space was definitely way too small for what's supposedly UK's biggest furry convention. Honestly, I wasn't sure what I expected, but there's definitely a difference to how Europeans do furry cons versus Americans. I mean, that's something I want to touch on. Unfortunately, my camera died halfway, so I don't have any photos of the con itself. But, um, it was fun. Honestly, like, the highlight was just being able to meet all these people that I only knew online for the first time. Time for a history lesson! This con was the remnant of the very first furry convention in the world. However, it was definitely on its last legs when I went in what ended up being its very last year, 2016. Califer came out of the ashes of conference back in 2004. As dead as the con felt when I went, it was definitely a time capsule. The final venue didn't really do much to help matters. I mean, you had to walk out between the hotel and an airport-like convention hall that was part of a fairground, or dining, or, well, anything. It felt isolated and sad. Conference was at one point the world's largest convention before this next one took the mantle. While it is no longer the largest now, Anthrocon is a classic and definitely a unique experience, but oddly enough, not for the convention itself. Given the location in downtown Pittsburgh and its sheer size, the town basically transforms for the con. You can just stay in any of the con's many hotels, walk to the DLCC, and see furry stuff everywhere you go. The convention itself is pretty quiet, but for a weekend, it's a lot of fun. I do wish they had some kind of shuttle from the airport though. It's the only currently running convention on this list where there's no easy means to go in via flying that doesn't involve an expensive Uber. This next one isn't so much a con, but it's still worth mentioning. Texas Furry Siesta is basically an air-conditioned fur meet. While geared towards the Dallas locals as a means to meet in the harsh Texan sun, there's still something to be said about a weekend to chill. If you know people in the area to chill with, it can be pretty cool. No pun intended. From chill, we have the humid madness. Megaplex is a convention that really shouldn't exist at the time it does. A furry convention in August doesn't seem too bad until you have it in Orlando, Florida, in a resort hotel, where the convention center is situated across a parking lot. Yeah, RIP fursuiters. Granted, they're moving to a different venue next year, but I will miss the amazing pool on site, as well as being able to see Disney's fireworks from my room. I did both RMFC and Denver, so I won't go too much details about the former, but but the last venue had a confusing maze that just, just to get into the con space. It was my first impression of the wide open Denver prairie, and I met a few longtime friends there, so there's that. It was a pretty quiet con, which is something that continued into Denver. In 2021, Denver moved to a much better downtown location close to many shops and restaurants. The convention space is situated in a level separate from the main hotel, which is kind of nice in that it feels like an exclusive zone, but there's definitely some growing pains. I will say though, this is definitely a locals con, and if you know any friends in the area, it is definitely worth checking out. And likewise, so is furry migration. I'm honestly not sure how I got pulled into this one, but I guess I wanted to see some Minnesota friends. I honestly don't remember much about this convention, besides meeting fellow plain dork furries and using it as an excuse to visit Minneapolis and check out the Mississippi River in the Mall of America. I guess nothing remarkable is a good thing if it means an excuse to vacation with furries. I'm gonna assume that we've all heard about Rainforest. I went in the year just prior to its collapse and um, it was okay. Before all the poop hit the fan, I've heard so many stories about how Rainforest was the better West Coast con, and it just had an amazing vibe. I guess? You're right? Maybe? I mean, I do have some stories about this I could share in another video, but honestly, it just felt overhyped in a very terrible location. I mean, I, I don't miss it personally, but the impact of its demise is still kind of felt today. Whatever happened to Arizona Fur Con? I did it once in 2016 and I had a blast in a resort-like venue, and then it just kind of disappeared. Does Phoenix still have a furry convention? Pacific Anthropomorphic Weekend Anthro Northwest 
So out of the ashes of Rainforest came two conventions, one of which was Anthro Northwest, which was a sharp reaction in the opposite direction of what made Rainforest collapse. There's a lot of controversy about this convention that I won't go into in this video, but let's just say this is more of a family-friendly weekend for furries. The downtown Seattle venue is amazing, and the staff really are doing their best to make this work. Plus, if you're a teenage furry who's just new to the fandom, this convention is a perfect start. However, um, unfortunately, it's not worth going out of your way to spend a weekend, let alone travel out of town for, unless you're doing it as part of a Seattle trip with friends for the day. Finally, the big one, Midwest Fur Fest. Yeah, it's big. It's the largest furry convention in the world, and it shows. I remember the first time I went in 2016, just fresh from flying in on Thursday, and the main lobby was alive. It's an experience to say the least, but also not without its issues. One has to join the lo a lottery to book the main hotel, and if you don't get in, which is likely a lot of you, you'll have to pick an alternate hotel and either brave the Chicago w winter or bake in an overly heated skywalk. But that's not stopping me from going back this year. And there we have it! Have you been to a furry convention before? Which one's your favorite? Leave a comment down below and tell me your stories! If you like this kind of stuff, please leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell, I have no idea where I'm pointing at, and uh, until next time!